Do you want to share folders in shared drives? Then watch this video until the end. Hello guys, this is Sudo Ken. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to share folders in shared drives. You all guys know folder sharing in shared drives is not available yet. If you are finding a workaround, this is the video you are looking for. To do so, I'm using Cloud Pair Workers and Google Drive Index which is created by Yansai and modified by Lil Preda. Ok guys, let's head to the tutorial. First, I will show you the shared drive folder I want to share publicly. With this method, it is possible to share a particular folder or whole shared drive. I'm going to share these folders and files inside the folder named shared drive folder. Ok, step number one is creating for our client ID and client secret. Open a new tab and search for Google APIs. Then go to console.developers.google.com If you are using it for the first time, check the checkbox here and click on agree and continue. Next click here and create a new project. Give it a name. And click on create. From here, you can enable APIs and services. After coming to the API library, search for Google Drive API, then enable it. Next, go to the Credentials section and click on Configure Consent screen. Then click on External and continue setting it up. Here you should only give the application name. It is not required to apply for verification since we are going not to use this client ID and secret for sharing others Google Drive folders but only ours. I name it G Drive Index. After giving a name, click on Save. Right, go back to the credentials section. Now we can create the client ID and secret. Click here and select all out client ID. Choose the desktop app option as the application type. Give it a name if you need it and click on create. You can copy the client ID and secret here or you can do it later. I click on OK because I'm not going to copy them now. From here, you can see the credentials and copy them later. Next, we are going to review the refresh token for Google Drive API. Open another tab and go to this URL. You can find it in the video description. I created this collab notebook because of the difficulty of getting the refresh token. With this, you can get the refresh token even from a mobile phone. You just need to input the client ID and secret here and run the blog. Also, you can see the code inside the cell by double clicking on it. To get started, click on connect and wait until it connects. Then copy your client ID and secret from here and paste them into the cell. Next, run the block. Go to this URL and allow access for the app we created with Google Developer Console. Here mind it is G Drive Index. Since we didn't apply for verification, it shows this screen. We don't need to apply for it because we don't publish this app for public use. So click on Advanced and continue. We know why we created it, so it is not unsafe at all. Now you should copy this code 
and paste it down here. Then press enter. Great, we got the refresh token. Step number 3 is deploying Google Drive Index on Cloudflare Workers. Open a new tab, search for Cloudflare and go to their site. Then sign up for free. We don't need to add a website, just click on the logo and go to the dashboard. Before doing anything, verify your email address. I don't need these two tabs anymore, so I close them. Right click here and go to workers. Then choose a subdomain for your account. Next, click on setup. The free plan is good enough for regular use, so I continue with it. Next, click on create a worker. Erase everything that exists in the code editor and open a new tab to get the code we want to deploy the index. Then go to this URL, you can find it in the video description. Copy the entire code and paste it in the code editor. Then go to the top of the code and you will see settings you should set up before deploying. Here you can change them as you need. To enable dark theme, replace false with true. I love the dark theme, so I enable it. And I choose deep purple as the main color and the accent color. Then copy your client ID, client secret and refresh token and paste them within the codes. Next, you should add the folder ID you want to share. You can get it from the Google Drive tab. After going to the particular folder, you can see the folder ID on the address bar at the end of the URL like this. Copy it and paste it here. Also, you can give the root a name. The name you provide here will be displayed in the index as the name of the root. I name it shared folder. Also you can add a username and password per root. For this folder I don't use password protection but I'll show you how it works. Name of the worker will be added to the URL of the index so you can rename it as you need. Next click on save and deploy. Right, open the worker in another tab. Great, now you can share this URL publicly. Here you can access all files inside the folder you wanted to share. This index can read different types of media and generate previews of them. From here, you can download files you want. Also, you can share direct download links of the files.
you can play videos with the built-in video player or you can use external players also. Okay, let's add another route. Now I'm going to share the whole shared drive. Go to the root of the shared drive you want to share and copy its ID from the address bar. Then paste it here. I name the second root as shared drive. It will be displayed in the index. You can enable password protection by giving username and password for the particular route like this. Then click on save and deploy. Let's see how its password protection works. Yeah, no one can access files without the username and password. Also, you can remove additional groups, erase them from the code like this. Then refresh the page to see the changes. Great, this is all you need to know to get most of this video. At the final step, I am going to show you how to point our own domain name to the work of the creator. If you want to remove its default domain name and point your own one, you can do it easily. I am going to show you how to do it by pointing this domain name to the worker I just created. Go to Cloudflare Dashboard. Click on Add a Site. Enter the domain name here. And click on Add Site. You can continue with the free plan for this tutorial. If it shows any existing DNS record, remove them and click on continue. Then change your current name servers and add these new ones. It may take some time to see changes of name servers, just wait a few minutes. After name servers getting changed, head back to Cloudflare and click on the button below. Yeah, site has been added successfully. Turn on this option to force the index to be saved under HTTPS. Then click on save. Next, go to the DNS section and add a new CNAME record like this. As the target, provide the current domain name of the index. and save the record. Then go to workers tab and click on add route. Then type your domain name in this text field like this.
and select the worker from here, then save the route. Make sure that you have enabled always use HTTPS option. Right, type your domain name with www on the address bar. And you will see it like this if it pointed correctly. You can share more folders by adding them into the code as roots. Also, do remember to use www part when you use your domain name to access the index. I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. Also, don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. To watch more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel.